Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage in Southern California, and we're having our monthly tech meet here today, and we're going to be looking at a 1967 Silver Shadow block and talking about the cylinders and the crankshaft and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what, what do you mean by phrase? I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'll, I'll explain it to you. If you, if you grab one of those handouts, you can see that. So they have a piston here. Oh, they have bores and pistons. So the piston bore on a grade H, okay, I think these are T's. They have T or an S. It has both letters on it, um, which is not even listed on this old shop manual. So let's just take the one of them, for, for example. Uh, uh, a cylinder bore grading on H is 4.1 to 4.1003. The next grade is a J, and it's a 4.1004 to 4.1007. So we're talking really small differences, and then the pistons are the same way. An H piston, you're supposed to match them. Okay, an H piston is 4.0985, which is one and a half thousandths, right? Yeah. Uh, to 4.0988, which is 1.2 thousandths. So they, they come in different gradings, very minor differences. Uh, in the real world, I don't think you hear any, anything. If it's under two thousandths, you typically won't hear it. Two thousandths is a lot on that grading. Um, so you just bite your pores and then determine which set of pistons to put in it? Uh, y yeah, if you can see where the bore gets replaced. Buy them and match sets, or not sets, but you can buy a bunch of S pistons. Um, let me grab, I, I think I know where the pistons are for this. Let me grab one of them. So here's one of the original pistons, which I hope to reuse. I don't want to spend another $700 times eight. And you can see it's flat top. It's dished, or it's cut out for the valve clearance, but this is a high compression engine. And let's see what that skirt says. I hope it's good. I'm scared. And you're supposed to make sure these are all real cl clean and all that, of course. And so you always measure it at the, at the base of the skirt? At the skirt, yeah. Okay. That's the tightest spot. So this is, this is on the ragged edge. It's a, f uh, it's a 975. So they changed the design on the Cloud 3 engine, half thousands clearance, which... I'd have to measure all the others, which I will before I put them in, but I've, you know, I'm, I'm pretty well committed to this. There are some things you can do, Mickey Mouse, or that they have done, I call it Mickey Mouse because it's not Rolls Royce. Uh, they call it knurling. Okay, now they do it with valve guides. Valve guide is the sleeve that the valves move up and down in. Uh, they wear, uh, and you can run a tool through there. It's like a threader. So what it does is it runs through this metal and it puts a, a, a screw thread in it. But when you do that, it displaces metal and then you run a burnishing tool through it to bring it back to the right clearance and you get more life out of it. They can do the same to pistons. They run this on a knurling machine. I don't know how they do it, but they roll a, like a diamond patterned bit over it, over that aluminum. What it does is it cuts into the aluminum and displaces metal so it grows up and you can tighten up your clearances. Now, then we're going to get into that. The crack in the block, uh, it's, uh, it's not always caused by the removal of the piston. It's usually there before. But because where they usually crack, is down in the webs, way down here. Okay, when I see them, when they crack to the main bearing web inside the block, which is the Silver Cloud 3s are really bad about that. First of all, they're old cars. Second of all, they don't get their cooling system serviced enough. Uh, and they are hard to get. So the web, 
These are where the main bearings are. That's what supports the crankshaft, where these studs are. They crack in here, okay? I have seen, a, actually, a shadow engine that cracked all the way into here, into the, the main bearing web. And this is a great story, because it was, a, I think, a 69 or 70 shadow. The guy who owned it, he overheated it good. And I pulled the engine, and uh, I don't, I'm just going to sell it, right? That's what he told me. Can you just patch it together? And I don't do that anymore. Back then, I would do whatever the customer wanted, but not anymore. You either fix it or you don't. Take it someplace else. Do what you got to do. But the funny thing is, is it was cracked so bad that when you tore the main bearings, the crankshaft wouldn't turn. <laughs> oh, this is not good, right? So I took shim stock, which is just thin brass plate, one one thousandths thick, and I cut little plates. I'd loosen the main bearings one at a time to see when it would start to turn. And then I just put shims under the main bearing caps in those spots, and I got it to turn. Right? This is, this is Mickey Mouse thinking the whole way. I, I told him no guarantee. He drove it another ten years without a problem. So he didn't sell it. Right? He drove it, kept driving it, because it worked okay. So anyways, on a, on a Silver Cloud 3, those are the ones that crack the most. Uh, and new blocks are unobtainable now. I did an engine on a, a, a Rolls-Royce Molnar Park Ward Coupe 65, which they called it the Chinese eye car. The slanted headlamps, fins, beautiful car for a customer. He had a cracked block. And I just missed it by like two weeks. The factory still had one. Brand new block, $25,000 for the block. And I missed it. So we ended up putting the Silver Cloud 2 block in it, which the Silver Cloud 2 block and the Silver Cloud 3 block are almost identical except for the cam bearings, almost. Uh, the, the dimensions are all the same. Okay, so if you look in here, Okay, cam goes in here, right? And you have these bosses that correspond to these journals. There's four journals. On the Silver Cloud 3, well, the two, the first V8 by Rolls, first production V8, um, they put bearings in. So you'd drive in bearings and you'd have to hone them to fit. Uh, Silver Cloud 3, they got rid of them. So it's just a block. If you've got a fucked up block with bad cam surfaces, you just throw it away. Or you could machine it, right? Put some of those cam bearings in. Uh, the cam bearings tended to fail on those cars. They twisted and they had a lot of upper end problems on those Silver Cloud 2s. Plus the Silver Cloud 2 had a different piston and rod configuration. The Silver Cloud 2 piston was longer, had a much smaller pin, and that pin was centered in the piston. No offset. And the Cloud 2 V8 is a noisy engine, even when they're good. And what they did with the 3 is they put a bigger wrist pin in there and they offset it. So that the, engine, the, the piston, when it fired, it didn't cock. There's your word again, George. It didn't cock in the cylinder. Because that's that knocking noise you're going to hear. <laughs>